Here is the fake sheikh in his pomp working for the news of the world. And here he is bringing down London's burning star, John Alford. The actor served nine months for supplying drugs. Today, the boot was on the other foot. Maza Mahmood got 15 months for perverting the course of justice when yet another showbiz sting, this time against pop star Tulisa, went wrong. Maza Mahmood was once one of Britain's most feared journalists. Now he's on his way to prison and it's time for his victims to have their say. These people have one thing in common, their lives were wrecked by the fake shake. Stage hypnotist Jonathan Royal says he was stitched up by Mahmood when he got six months in prison for giving the reporter fake coins. I can't describe what it was like from the moment that the judge said, send him down. Your mind plays tricks on you. Uh, it, was, it was just, it was a living nightmare. It, for, Just, I wouldn't wish it upon my worst enemy. Well, I was on suicide watch in strange ways. Um, I slept for weeks in prison, fully clothed, scared that what you see in films might happen. People have now started to see that what I've been saying for the past 18 and a half years actually is true. The man is a liar. Another scalp, former world champion boxer Herbie Hyde who got 22 months for supplying drugs. Mahmoud had so much evidence, so much which he created himself. Like he said, he said, I sent him a text saying that I, I wrote him a text saying that I've got the cocaine and the match fixing. I cannot spell cocaine. Nevertheless, match fixing. All I, I can't spell them words. Prison, I cried every day. And, and I thought in prison, I might as well kill myself if I want to put this thing to, to, to my family. No, you know? I'm proud of you. You know, you know what I'm saying? You've indicated. So that, that, that was how I felt. I thought I might as well end it. Another victim, Emma Morgan. Emma, you didn't go to prison. You were a page free girl. What effect did Mazen Mahmoud's journalism have on you? Basically, because of the story that went out about me, I lost my home. I lost my job. Um, it wasn't just a job, it was a career. Um, and a career that I think I would have done very well at and it would have lasted quite a long time. He stole that from me. A fourth scalp, John Alford. His career ended in 1999 after Mahmoud's sting. It was very convenient for the police. The Police and Criminal Evidence Act was put in place to protect us from unscrupulous police officers. They had a very, very, very cosy relationship with the press because they can use lies, trickery and deceit to get a story, which they call subterfuge. Very convenient for them, very damning for us. Their solicitor is calling for an inquiry and she's damning about the conduct of the Metropolitan Police. Corrupt. Corrupt Absolute corruption. Corrupt is a heavy word. It is. I mean, what was going on was very heavy and very serious, but we have uh, evidence of that. I hope finally people will listen to what these men have been saying all along. And I would stress this, there isn't one of those convictions that Mahmoud sustained has not been tainted by his behaviour. Not one. The reporters' victims plan to sue News UK in the civil courts. Today, the company said they would fight those cases and that Mahmoud had led scores of successful investigations during his 25-year career with the company, which had led to the exposure of criminality and wrongdoing. For the likes of us and the other people that he stung, I certainly don't feel justice has been done, do you? Not really. No. Mm. No. Um, and as far as not wishing it on my worst enemy, I am more than happy that Maza Mahmoud is now sat there quaking in his boots, wondering what's going to happen to him in jail. I'd like to be a fly on the wall. The question now is why do the authorities let these people suffer for so long?